seriously, Ken Block? He was one of the coolest race car drivers I ever knew. Drifter, enthusiast, whatever the heck you want to call him, he was badass. And he unfortunately passed away. Look at some of his clips. Like These were some of the most badass videos I've ever seen, especially the Jim Connor and Climb Connor series. I always loved the intros to his videos, the way he got in the car and all the different shots. They had camera angles freaking everywhere. They always pulled off a really, really capturing experience for the audience. For those that follow Ken Block, the amount of close calls this man had in the car and the amount of times it was caught on video is insane. So it's so unfortunate and almost eerie to hear how he passed. Like, look at the crazy shots he's pulled off that were just such close calls. <laughs> The man's a legend. He'll go down in history. Everyone who's anyone who followed race car driving, drifting, Ken Block specifically, knows that like this man was the shit in the racing world. Because I love the episode with the original Hoonicorn in Jim Cana, where he picked up Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> I don't think I need, I need a helmet. I would suggest it. All right, all right. Okay, the, you know what I'm thinking? One of the most insane shots right here. Like, look how close to the edge of a freaking mountain he is. Like, one wrong move, a little more gas than he needed, a little slippage from the rear end of that car, and he was a goner which he is now, which I still can't freaking believe. Ugh. And speaking of Matt LeBlanc, they actually put out an article themselves, Top Gear here, Ken Block has died in a snowmobile accident. So as I was research researching a little bit, it looks like um, the snowmobile actually flipped on its end and fell on top of him. And the uh, law enforcement authorities said that he passed from the injuries sustained from the accident. Uh, I just can't believe it, man. Um, it said he was even alone, so I wonder how long it took people to get to him, the buddies that he was riding with. I've never rode up in the mountains on the snowmobiles, but I can imagine how isolated and deserted it can get when you're kind of just cruising around at high speeds, getting lost up in the abyss. Another article, New York Times, Ken Block, rally driver and YouTube stuntman dies at 55. Um, pretty much same story here as far as how he passed with the snowmobile landing on top of him, as you can see here. Uh, the sheriff's office said that the snowmobile, the snowmobile upended, landing on top of him. Uh, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. Dude, what blew my mind about this guy is that he was a pretty big fitness enthusiast. A lot of people don't realize what it takes to drive a machine with that capability. Like, there's some hardcore sweating going on and athleticism. And if you just Google Ken Block Fitness, as I've done here, done here you just Google it. Um, Pro Rally Driver Ken Block's Secret to Success. You can see here even just his, his workout regimen. Um, I had heard of him involving a lot of math with his... Uh, his workouts and really calculating how he needs to specifically go about them to do what he did within the vehicle. Uh, if I go back here, you can even see some videos um, here of just his rigorous workouts. I always love this one, the upside down bozu ball. That is a great exercise. And if you don't have a strong core or a lot of stability, this will piss you off because you'll be wobbling. Like, I don't even know, but you'll be wobbling a lot. <laughs> Yeah, he's a huge inspiration to me here at InstaShred because he was such uh, a beast, you know, not just in the car, but like there's so many elements and athletic sports within this world that don't seem so athletic, um, but people prep. Like if you're the best of the best at anything you do that involves your body, uh, you're most likely training for it in some way, you know, dirt bike riders, um, four wheelers, snowmobilers, drifters, rally car racers, like Ken Block was 
a machine. Like he was in great shape, man, and he worked out like a madman. And I always kind of respected him for that. Like, hey, he doesn't really share his fitness routines in the limelight, but if you look it up, that that man put in the work behind the scenes. So it's so unfortunate to see that he was out having the time of his life this winter, enjoying himself as he was just putting posts up on Instagram and YouTube that he was teaching his 16-year-old daughter how to drift. He's going to post up her first video of of her successful drifting journey, and um, ah. Loved that guy, man. Some of my favorite videos ever on YouTube were the Jim Connor and the Climb Connor series. So good. But rest in peace to him. That is uh, a hard one to take. And um, he's going to be missed by a lot of people that probably loved him more than I do. I'm not a huge, huge car guy, but I respect it enough to have known who this man is and the many lives that he touched and inspired through what he did so well as the absolute best. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Here at InstaShred, we're all about giving you the best possible solution to getting where you want to go with your body to feel and look your best. It's a free 30-second body type quiz taking into account where you're at and where you want to go and giving you the best solution. And it's completely free. You can check it out in the description below this video. Rest in peace to Ken Block and hope to see you next time.